some of you, people from international probably haven't heard of Opryland, Opryland? Opryland. And Opryland is this place in Nashville next to some place where they used to sing. And I'm kidding. It's a really famous old opera house. And they have a hotel attached to it that's like five acres under this big glass dome with a tropical jungle and wild animals inside it. And, and then there are humans. And, and we, we humans are trying to find our ways to the rooms which are close to the conference center. And every time I go there, I get lost. And, and so one day I'm there. And I'm lost in this corridor, and I'm being a pathetic adult. You know, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, nobody's ever going to find me, I'm going to smell, and then they'll find me. And, and so I'm schlepping down this corridor, and, and I, I hear noises coming out of another corridor, and I think, oh, I'm saved. Well, out of this other corridor comes a family, and there's a man pushing one of those big brass luggage carts, you know, with junk hanging off all over it, and, and he's angry. And he's like, Ugh. And at the other end of the luggage cart, there's a woman with a map. <laughs> So we know what they're fighting about. And, and of course, they're lost again. And, and you know, here are these three grumpy adults. You know, he's rah, rah, she's rah. And I'm going, oh, help, help. Well, they have two little girls. And they look like they're about four and six. And the little girls are jumping up and down in this corridor going, oh, mommy, look, daddy, daddy. Oh, daddy, this is so exciting. Look, look, oh, oh. And, you know, pathetic old human me is going, oh, and yeah. And I'm looking at the kids and I realized, do you know what most grown-ups have lost? We have lost our sense of awe and wonder and reverence. That says reverence. And, um, you know, think about it. Look at the place we're in. The Bellagio is fabulous. Do we walk around going, oh, this is so fabulous? No, we were going, how much further do we have to walk? <laughs> Everything's so expensive. I'm lost. You know, people would give their right arm to come and do what you're doing. And if any of you are complaining about anything, slap yourselves. <laughs> Big time slap yourselves. Because none of the Heart on Fire team have woken up and thought, how can we destroy their experience today? <laughs> They've been awake for weeks trying to make sure it's fabulous for you. So, so this is really important, and we've got symbols again. So when I point to awe, I want you all to go, ooh. And then wonder, hands come up with, ah. And then reverence. You know how the Indians and the Tibetans go like this? They say namaste. Namaste means I salute the spirit in you. Or my spirit salutes your spirit. And it comes back to that pilot light. It's so important. The spirit in which we do things is critical. And so, it's going to be so good. Ready? So we're going to go like this. You don't have to say namaste, but you can if you want to. Ready? Ooh. Ah. So good. Now, on the count of three, you're going to do it to your new best friend. Yes! On one side, then the other. You're going to look at them and go, ooh, ah. Do not look at them and go, eeeh, ah. That is so bad. So, on the count of three, with real feeling, remembering you're connecting heart to heart. You're setting somebody else's heart on fire. Isn't this fun? Here we go. One, two, three, go. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Excellent, you guys. Oh, that's so good.